we're going to be doing some order of operations with integers, okay? And we're going to use bedmass. This tells us the order that we have to calculate something, okay? So if you see brackets, you always want to simplify what's in your brackets first. Then if you see an exponents, you'll simplify that. Division and multiplication is in the order it appears. And just like the order it appears, just like we read English left to right, you read math left to right. So if division appears first, you would solve division. If multiplication appears first, you would solve multiplication first. Same thing with addition and subtraction is in the order it appears. Okay? So pretty straightforward. But now we're going to be dealing with integers, so positive and negative whole numbers. Okay? So let's look at an example. And I always like to write the word bed mass at the top of the page just so it helps me remember my order. Okay, so for example, let's look at the first question. Negative 36 divided by negative 6 divided by negative 6. Now, do you know why I have square brackets here? Okay, so let me explain that. Now, when you are solving, or I should say simplifying or solving a bracket. Now, this technically does not count as a bracket. Although you see brackets here, what this means is that if there's something you can do inside the bracket, then you do it. Can I do anything inside this bracket? No. So that's already simplified, right? The reason why we use square brackets here is just to separate, um, it's basically just using a different symbol because I had to use a bracket around my negative 6, right? Usually when you have a negative integer, you put it inside a bracket so that you know it's not a subtraction question, right? It's a negative integer. And I have another negative integer here too. So the only reason you use square brackets is just to kind of distinguish between the two types of brackets. So I'll show you what I mean. If I wrote this as negative 36 divided by bracket, 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 it looks messy, right? Mm -hmm. Like it, two sets of brackets like that is, is difficult to... It just looks messy. So what they're trying to tell you is that this is inside a bracket, okay? Mm -hmm. And the reason there are still brackets inside that, like I said, is just to show that this is a negative 6. Okay, so let's look at our bed mass. So we've already talked about it. Do we have brackets? Yeah. And I forgot to close this bracket. Oops. <laughs> we do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write negative 36 divided by, and we're actually going to solve what's inside our brackets first, right? So what is the solution to negative 6 divided by negative 6? So first think of the numerical part. 6 divided by 6 is 1. one. And we have a negative divided by a negative. Do you remember? Positive. Good, a positive. I will put this number inside a bracket, okay? So we're, are we done with our brackets? Yeah. Right, because like I said, you can't do anything else inside a bracket. This bracket is just to kind of separate the integers. Do we have exponents? No. No? Do we have division? Yeah. Yes, we do. So that's going to be the next step. I'll just put an equal sign here. So we have negative 36 divided by positive 1. Look at the numerical part first. 36 divided by 1. 36. Yep. And we have a negative divided by a positive. The answer will be... Negative 36. Good. So we're done with our division, and we have nothing left to do. Don't have multiplication, addition, or subtraction. So this is our final answer. Okay, so this time they're using the same numbers, except now we change the order of operations. The bracket is now here. So we need to solve this. Negative 36 divided by negative 6. So what's 36 divided by 6? 6. Good. And a negative divided by negative? Positive. Good. So we have positive 6, and let's rewrite the rest of our question. Divided by negative 6. So 6 divided by 6? Is 1. And a positive divided by negative? Negative. Good. Final answer, negative 1. Okay, so we know that we have to solve the division part of this question first because division comes first. Okay, So what you always want to do is 
write the part of the question that you haven't done anything with yet. Okay, so I'm going to do negative 4 plus, right, we're not touching that. What is 16 divided by negative 4? So 16 divided by 4. 4. Good. And positive and a negative? Negative. Good. Okay, we have the last operation, which is negative 4 plus a negative 4. And what is negative 4 plus a negative 4? Negative 8. Negative 8. Excellent. And that's it. We're done. Made with DoodleCast Pro.